Natasha from Skate Fresh. Welcome to Brighton. And today's question is something that I'm asked quite regularly, and it's this. Um, what do I think is the biggest problem in skating? And there's a lot of answers to that. Mainly the biggest problem is the closing of all the skate shops around the world, but that's another discussion. Um, when people mean technique-wise, I think the biggest problem is people feeing when they skate. So that means when you change foot in the middle, that position, you know, should be straight ahead and parallel, and most people skate with their feet in a V. And I don't think most people sort of see this as a problem. Most people think if you're going and you're skating fast, then it's all fine. The problem I think with being is it creates a bunch of other problems. So it creates very often pronation on an inside edge on one foot or both, and it completely robs you of the opportunity to have a glide. So I think skating should be the same amount of time for the push as the glide. So you should have a tempo that sort of sounds like push, glide, push, glide, push, glide. And if you V, you're gonna get V, 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 V. And you're not gonna glide, so you're gonna get tired really quick, your cadence is gonna be really high, and in general, just not a good idea. So, you know, if you're Ving, it's because you want to accelerate, and that should be a temporary state of affairs. Maybe it's four, six strides to overtake someone, or maybe you're Ving the whole time to get up a hill. But if you're on the flat and you want to cruise, you shouldn't really be Ving. So I'm going to show you some videos of people who are skating in a V and not accelerating. And I think this is a big waste of your um, effort and energy. So let's have a look at some videos and see what you can see. And then you can video yourself from the back, get a friend to skate behind you, video yourself, and then you make your decision. See if you're making the biggest mistake out there. So here we have a skater who's pronating on both inside edges. Here we have a little bit of V on each foot. This skater more on the right, they're Ving more on the right foot, bit of pronation as well. Here again, Ving on the right with a fast cadence and no glide. Here we have a left foot veer, so the left foot is Ving out to the side, and this skater to the right. So you can see most people have this habit. However, notice in my stride that both skates set down straight ahead, and there's a really definite tempo. Push, glide, push, glide, push, glide, so the push and the glide are the same amount of time. This means it's efficient, it's powerful, and it looks really nice. So I don't think that a skater just suddenly starts to skate like this just by knowing. I think they need to train certain drills. So I've already done five drills for you, which are available immediately at inlineskatecourse.com. Check out the Skate for Fitness series, and in beginners there are two drills for you, and in intermediate course there's three drills for you. You get instant access, they're completely free, and they really will train these separate parts of your stride so you look and feel fantastic as you skate faster. Links in the box.